Last Friday night, President Duterte warned that he may be forced to suspend the writ of habeas corpus if lawlessness in the country escalates. But what exactly is the writ of habeas corpus? Pauline Requesto has added details. Ang motive, grabe ang bakbakan dito, ang bakakala ninyo. There's a rebellion, there's a, re re a rebellion being waged now in Mindanao. At kung magkalat itong still lawlessness, I might be forced to, ayoko, ayoko. Warning ko lang sa kanila, ayoko. Kasi hindi maganda. But if you force my hand into it, I will declare the suspension of the writ of habeas corpus. Last week, President Rodrigo Duterte warned that he might suspend the writ of habeas corpus if lawlessness in Mindanao will persist. He also said that such move will help the government's campaign against illegal drugs. But what exactly is the writ of habeas corpus? The writ of habeas corpus is a court order which summons a person under arrest into court to ensure that his or her detention is lawful. It secures a person's release unless his or her custody is determined legal. In other words, the writ is a safety measure against warrantless arrest and illegal detention. The 1987 Constitution guarantees every individual the right to due process and that a warrant of arrest issued by the court is needed before detaining someone for a crime. However, the Constitution also lays down certain conditions for the writ of habeas corpus to be suspended. Article 3, Section 15 states that such privilege may be deferred in times of invasion or rebellion and when the public safety requires it. However, the right to bail shall remain even when the writ is suspended. The first suspension of the writ of habeas corpus after the American period was in 1950 when former President Elpidio Quirino issued Proclamation 210 to suppress impending communist threat from Hukbalahap. Two decades later, former President Ferdinand Marcos suspended the writ in 1971 after the Plaza Miranda bombing. In reaction to cases of illegal detention during the martial law era, the current constitution warrants that the suspension may only be condoned upon fulfilling certain conditions. The writ was last suspended by then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in 2009 through Proclamation No. 1959, which placed some areas of Maguindanao Province under martial law following the Ampatuan Massacre. For PTV News, Pauline Requesto.